I think he's been phenomenal um, since uh, since the break. He's just he's coming in with great energy. He's encouraging the young guys. He just seems much more at peace with himself, and it's it's really fun to watch. Obviously, we won't know until tomorrow if Steph's going to play. But uh, how much of a boost would it be like? Not just on the court, just like mentally, morale for this team to see back. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Steph is Steph, so uh, we need him. Um, this is a big game tomorrow, obviously. They're all big, but uh, particularly the ones against the teams, you know, ahead of us and, and teams that we um, are on the heels of. So um, I'm uh, thrilled to get Steph back. And we've got uh, a whole team tomorrow. Hopefully we can stay whole now for the remainder of the season. I told the guys today there's still almost a quarter of the season left. Um, so a lot can happen, and now's our time to, um, to really you know, make some hay. Would the, the plan be to go back to that starting lineup that had played so well the past few weeks? Perhaps. Perhaps. Back to Steph Curry's ankle. When somebody rolls an ankle, we're always worried about what degree it is. How did he look in practice today? He looked great. Yeah, he's feeling fine. Okay. With, with Clay, just to return to that, um, was removing him from the starting lineup a game before the All-Star break, was that a conscious decision? Instead of doing it yeah. afterwards, yeah, I just I felt like it would be good just to give him the, the break to to feel it and reflect on it, and then you know um, got to figure out um, that role. And you know, he had 35 that night. I mean, he was incredible, and um, his energy was amazing. But like I said, I, th I think I think the break itself was really important for him. He got away, he got a chance to breathe a little bit, and uh, he's been he's been fantastic ever since. Uh, that's the that's the plan. Everything goes well with uh, with practice today and rehab tonight and all that. But um, working hard all week to try to get back as soon as possible. So it's nice to be back with the team for uh, good energy going on. How the ankle feel out there? Still attached to my body, so it feels good. <laughs> what was the uh, the process like? Just the last eight nine days getting it right. Something I'm used to, obviously, with the amount of sprains I've had in over the last 15 years. Um, but to make sure you get the swelling out and everything checks out so that you can build uh, up the reps on the court. So I was off the court for three or four days, and then four days a good, good build to get uh, your body back in shape to pick up right where you left off. Steph, you've long been one of the new guys coming up, what would be your biggest advice in terms of how to handle that role? Anybody, well, just live authentically and do what you feel like is in the best interest of yourself, your family, the your team, the game. Um, we're super visible athletes, and there's a lot that comes with it. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can't force um, you know, that presence on anybody, should, or you're not like nobody's given the crown of whatever the face of the league is. Everybody's a face that is um, in the spirit of growing the game. And like I said, representing yourself the best you know how and doing it authentically. Um, and it's all about playing, you know, good basketball, trying to sustain a level of play for as long as you can. Uh, and the rest will take care of itself. So, how do you think Kaminga kind of managed? Not necessarily the ups and downs, but the fluid nature of his opportunities this season. He's continuing to get better, continue to find a way um, to assert himself and play winning basketball, elevate you know what he does out there on the floor, understanding how to be consistent. He's been arguably our most consistent guy over the last you know couple months and uh, continuing to Again, show the world who, who he is, what he's capable of. And there's still levels to get to. So um, he sees the floor a lot better, I think, on both ends of the floor. He's a lot more decisive on what he's trying to do. Um, and we've catered some things to, to feature him and his uh, athleticism and his scoring ability. And then taking the challenges defensively, because that's where the biggest learning curve usually is. Um, with the assignments that you're given on a nightly basis. And what do you think is the next steps for him to build off of those things you just mentioned? Just keep doing it. Uh, hopefully we can have some playoff experience and you know, chase a deep playoff run, and that's where 
your confidence really goes through the roof when you can do it at that level. So I'm um, in on that stage, and hopefully we have that opportunity. Steph, obviously you're such a competitor. Uh, how do you balance your desire to get back out there on the floor and you know, with the importance of the game and everything, but also not rushing back? There are certain injuries that tell you. Um, there's nothing, you can't fast forward or you know, cheat the healing process. There are some that are kind of on the fence of whether you can kind of push through and not make it worse, but just deal with pain. Um, I've been through all types of injuries. So this one was one, uh, it was a certain time frame to let, let, the, uh, let my ankle heal. And then have a little bit of work on the court to build back up. So it's tough to miss games, but you obviously understand you can't make things worse um, knowing this, the, what time of the year we're, we're in right now. Steph, was, was face of the league something that you wanted? Hmm? Was being one of the face of the league something that you actively wanted, or was that just something that you fell into being you and playing the way you do and having your personality? More, like I said, just living doing things that I enjoy doing. Obviously, you guys, like I said, play at a high level, but I just I live and do things that are fun and you know, being around you know, great teammates and uh, that stuff is, is just natural and wherever I show up, it's because I want to be there and whatever I'm doing is because I want to do it and like I said, the rest of it is whatever the narrative is or that, that title, it's nothing you can chase after it's just enjoying your career and great things happening. What did it mean to add Malaysia to the Curry brand? Malaysia is, is unbelievable. Uh, talent, obviously, most outstanding player in the SEC tournament, first freshman to do it in however many years. So um, she's been a uh, Curry camp alum. And Obviously, South Carolina is an Under Armour school, and just to have that connection uh, through and through and bring her into the Curry Grant family is, is exciting. She's got a big, uh, hopefully, journey ahead with um, the, uh, the tournament coming up, so I'm happy. She's, she's one of a kind, and her story is just getting started. You made some. Last one. Go ahead. <laughs> This is a funny last one, but you made you made some big headlines this week in your TV interview when you said, you know, you wouldn't rule out maybe running for office one day. <laughs> <laughs> is that something that you seriously thought about, or is that something where you were kind of put on the spot? No, it was a uh, fresh question that it was asked, and the answer was honest. Like, I haven't thought about it at all other than if the opportunity presented itself. I don't know what the track, uh, the pipeline is to even be in that position, but my answer was maybe because I'm in the interest of, or I have the interest of leveraging my platform in the greatest way I know how to uh, continue to do things that create opportunity, create meaningful change for the people that need it. Um, and whether that's in politics or out of politics, whatever the, the, uh, the right moves are when basketball is done, I'm gonna do it, but. I love that they got some play. Tier uh, one access does not get the overall. <laughs> <laughs>